Next thing we'll talk about is escapes. Okay, how we get off the block. Once we've engaged the blocker, once we've punched him, how do we get off the block? The main one that we use is a punch and snatch. Being able to punch the blocker in, in his breastplate and being able to have cloth so we can snatch down and across the body. Okay, the next thing we'll use is a punch and rip. Okay, being able to punch, create separation is what the punch does and being able to rip across the face depending on where the ball is located. The next thing would be the fit and press. In our scheme, and in most schemes, you'll, the linebacker needs to know how he's going to attack that blocker. Is he going to attack him with the inside shoulder? Is he going to attack him with the outside shoulder? And we call that spill and boxing. Spilling it basically is real simple. We'll attack with the inside shoulder. We want everything to spill outside. Boxing is we attack with the inside shoulder. We want everything to turn to stay inside the box. I think that's very important for the linebacker to know that because if he knows how he's going to attack it and what show the attack it, where he can play faster. And that's the key. The faster we can get him to play, once he knows where he's going, the better. So we always give him an idea of whether or not he's going to spill a box. So let's look at some drills that we use in order to practice our escapes, when to press, when to punch and snatch, when to punch and rip, and when to fit and press. This particular drill here is talking about uh, actual rip. We talked about being able to punch and rip, and right here we're going to actually work on ripping, uh, coming out of our stance and ripping. And, what, and the way this drill is set up is taught to, as they're ripping, they should always be attacking the line of scrimmage. So right here, what we're doing is working on ripping and attacking the line of scrimmage, making sure we're gaining ground to the ball carrier as fast as we possibly can. This drill is done without any pads on right here. We don't have any pads on. It's just helmets. So you can actually work on the motor mechanics of the drill uh, without it actually having the contact. Here we're working on ripping again, being able to square our shoulders up in the hole. That's one of the things that we want to do is as we're ripping, we want to fight pressure so we can keep our shoulders square in the hole because we do not want to get washed and widen the hole for the next defender over. So we want to make sure we rip and try to square our shoulders up in the hole and keep our pad level down. And this drill here is basically a part-part drill before we get into actually making contact with the ball carrier. Here we're going to talk about another drill on how, again, we practice on ripping, being able to rip and to square our shoulders uh, in the line of scrimmage. Um, rip and square our shoulders in the line of scrimmage. And I'm looking at the pad level on how they attack. Again, this is a drill that can be done without any pads. Uh, it, uh, plays are inside the guard area or plays outside the guard area will, will depend on how we attack it. And that's why we use the trash cans. I uh, know everybody has a limit as far as number of bodies, but we basically can go to every kind of running play that you could possibly get and work on ripping and squeezing the hole and keeping our pad level down. Uh, right here, this is a drill that we use on the sled where we actually work on punching, getting the elbows in and the thumbs up. We want to make on punching and getting separation so we can get off the block and then accelerate off the block into the ball carrier. We always work on being able to accelerate and then right there at the end getting back under control to be able to make a tackle. We want the elbows in, thumbs up as we're punching to make sure we get separation. 